invented at the Waldorf Astoria Hotel in New York and named after the world conquering star of the silver screen, Charlie Chaplin. This cocktail is pure glamour. It does lean a little on the sweet side, but using a good quality slow gin and apricot brandy rather than more of like an apricot liqueur um, keeps it fruity and juicy rather than sickly sweet. It goes down a little too easily, so just try not to drink too many and walk into any door frames. Let's leave the slapstick comedy to the maestro. So for this one, it's all equal parts, so really nice and easy, literally 30 mils, one ounce, one shot, or you know, as big as you want to make it of all of your ingredients. Um, so first of all, we're gonna squeeze some lime juice. So we'll go in with 30 mils or one ounce of fresh lime juice, pretty much perfect. Then 30 mils or one ounce of a slow gin. Um, so slow gin is essentially a gin which has uh, had some um, slow berries, uh, which are kind of a little, quite a small and quite tart berry that you find a lot sort of in the countryside in England um, and it's had that sort of macerated in there. This one is a little bit different, it's essentially an Australian version of it, so using Davidson plum rather than the traditional slow berries, so very delicious and gives that little bit sweet, little bit tart and then obviously all of that nice gin flavour. And then 30 mils of apricot brandy, um, so this one does actually have some kind of actual brandy in there for a bit of like depth of flavour and complexity. Just want to look for a good quality one, Bitter Truth uh, does a really good one that's more widely available as well. Definitely want to try and find one where apricots have actually been harmed in the making of it uh, and it's not just sort of a general stone fruit flavouring because that's where it starts to taste a little bit too kind of like candy. So once that's all in there, we're just going to fill our shaker tin with ice and shake as hard as we can. Now this could definitely be a fun one if you have like a little dried apricot um, to kind of put on a skewer or something like that. Uh, I'm just going to go with a dehydrated lime wheel. And there we have our Charlie Chaplin. It's just really like fresh and bright. Um, as I said, obviously has that little bit of fruitiness, but the slow gin, this one definitely has like a really nice tartness um, and so does obviously the lime juice which is in a slightly higher proportion than you would kind of use if the other ingredients weren't as sweet um, so everything does still balance out really nicely. Uh, you could definitely sink a couple of these I would say. But because of that apricot note, I do find that almost like a little bit wintry. So as much as it's kind of like a really bright and fresh and fruity drink, um, it does still have a little bit of kind of weight and like a little bit of comfortness to it as well. So it's actually quite a good mixed drink for maybe if the weather's not quite as nice uh, outside. So yeah, definitely a good all rounder there and super, super easy. The Charlie Chaplin. So now you know.